Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is 1.4 B Smart lesson for SSC student. So, Learn with Dinesh is the name of my channel. Hope you enjoy this session. Now, look what we are going to learn in this video. Okay, now look at the chapter. Say whether the underlined word in the following sentences are used as a noun, verb or adjective. Now what is the main thing in this question? The main thing is that you have to identify whether it is noun, whether it is verb or whether it is adjective. The word is same, the spelling is same. But the position of the word and the function of the word is different. But how is it happened? Now look at the example. Okay. The first sentence A. I read. I walk to school every day. Now the underlying word is walk here. And it along with, come along with I. That means after the subject it comes. So walk indicates you the action of walking. So that is why walk work here or function here as a verb. So write down it as a verb. This by reading this sentence we understand the function of the underlying word. Now look at the second sentence. This is the B sentence. I go for a walk every day. Now in this sentence, walk is also mentioned and it comes along with for a walk. That means this is a group of word that comes along with walk. Now in this sentence, the subject is I and the go is verb. So that is why Walk is not working as a verb in this sentence. So the main part, the main important part of the sentence is here. We understand the function of the walk. So if you <coughs> think for a while and then decide what is the function of this word. Okay. It works as a noun. It works as a noun because it is not a verb. It is a type of exercise that people do in their life in gym. Ah, okay. Some people running, some people walking, some people jogging and some people that means uh, hardcore that means exercises. So we find here the function of the walk the spelling is same the pronunciation is same everything is same but their function is different so that is why you should understand by reading the sentence carefully and then decide what is the function of the word now I will show you the next example now look at the sentence C they gave me a gift every day. Now in this sentence, the word underline is gift. Okay. And it work as a noun. In this sentence, it work as a noun. Because it comes or preceded, the preceding word is here, me. So that is why it is a noun. Now look at the D sentence. You can gift her a story book. Now in this sentence, gift comes along with the model auxiliary verb can and preceded by the subject you. So that is why it works as a action word and it is a verb. It is a verb. Now look at the next word. <coughs> It was sold as a gift pack. Okay. Now it was sold as a gift pack. 
if you read the sentence carefully and understand what is the function of gift the gift is described here the word packet that means how is the pack how is the pack it's a gift pack it's a gift pack so that is why it is an adjective it is an adjective so friends in this way you can understand their function and then write down the answers now look at this one is walk and this one is walk but the position of this word is different now if you see if you see the words gift in this sentence this one is gift and this one is gift and this one is gift the position of the word is different the spelling is same the pronunciation is same but their function is different in the first sentence it function as a noun in the second sentence is function as a gift and in the third sorry verb and in the third sentence it function as an adjective so i hope you understand the function of the word in a different position and it is depend on the content of the sentence friends if you really enjoy my session please leave your likes shares and comments and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you very much